Namaskar. It is my pleasure to meet all of you today virtually on the occasion of the International Women's Day, which is being celebrated by the Consulate General of India in Frankfurt in collaboration with the members of the Indian community. First of all, I would like to extend my warm wishes on this occasion to acknowledge and recognize the contribution of women in various walks of life. I am delighted to present a video feature prepared by the Frankfurt Indian Scholars Association documenting the contribution of women leaders in India's freedom struggle. It is a humble attempt to pay homage to scores of women who actively participated in India's freedom struggle as well as India's socio-economic transformation since the freedom struggle. Further, to mark this occasion, Consulate General of India in Frankfurt has organized a panel discussion with Professor Geeta Dharampal, Ms. Jagjeet Anders, Ms. Manjiri Kirloskar, Ms. Malati Krishnaswamy, and Ms. Rucha Ambekar commemorating the role of Indian women in India's freedom struggle and their contribution to various socioeconomic reforms. I thank all of them for their support to the consulate in this virtual celebration of International Women's Day. Once again, my warm wishes to all of you. Thank you. Namaskar. As India celebrates 75 years of independence, we bring you stories of women who were involved in Indian independence struggle. You might know the names of some of them, but most do not find a mention in history books or in popular memory. One such name is Rajkumari Gupta. She, along with her husband, joined the freedom struggle under the influence of Mahatma Gandhi, but later took on a revolutionary path. She was closely associated with Chandrasekhar Azad and supported him by carrying messages and materials to other revolutionaries. Not many are aware of her role in the famous Kakori train robbery. Revealing her close connections with Azad, she had once said, Upar se to hum Gandhi the, aur andar se which literally translates to, We appeared as Gandhians from the outside, but underneath we were revolutionaries. Moving on to the next brave lady who was handpicked by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bosch to join Freedom Movement. Captain Lakshmi Segal played Rani Jhansi Regiment. Rani Jhansi Regiment was one of the first uh, women contingents in the world. She was once arrested by British Army in May 1945 because of her role in March to Burma which occurred in December 1944. She was also awarded as Padma Vibhushan uh, because of her heroic contribution to India. She was uh, once a presidential candidate against APJ Abdul Kala. She has also said that freedom comes in three parts. First is political emancipation from conqueror, second is economical and third is social, where India has achieved only first. Friend, I come to you from many thousand miles away as the ambassador of a very ancient country to the youngest nation in the world. It may surprise you that a country which you are taught to regard as conservative should have chosen a woman to be its representative and ambassador. Famously known as the Nightingale of Bharat Kokila, Sarojini Naidu has earned this title because of her work as a poet. However, she was a very important figure in the Indian struggle for independence from colonial rule. Through her years, she was actively involved in all the freedom movements like Satyagraha movement and she also went to London for the second round table conference. She led the disobedience movement and the Quit India movement from the front that was set up by Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. She also spent 21 months of her life in jail because of her active support in the freedom struggle. As a woman, she has shown strength and commitment to not just for India in its independence or freedom struggle, but also as a socialist and social reforms. I would like to say what she said. The greatness 
of any country lies in the underlying ideals of love and sacrifice that inspires the mothers of the race. Sarojini Naidu. Thank you.